What's going on guys? It's your boy Terabyte Reacts here and we are back with another super reaction today. If you guys don't know, Code Geass has taken the spot of the super reactions um since we're finished with Ippo. Um so Code Geass ended I did the last um last week I did a super reaction to end the season and it was a doozy right i mean it was it was one of those things that really has you thinking and i think that's what the writer of the anime the uh, the series was was go was going for it was going for that shock value like i did not expect that to happen with yuffie like it it, it was out of pocket a lot of people were saying that's what they didn't like about the first season um you know and to me, it it was it was it. It's not the greatest thing to write. I'm gonna say that, but it was awesome. The shock value. It got you. A lot of people might look at it and be like, "Oh, it was so, you know, weird for 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 a person to write it like that and and stuff like that." And I, I'm I'm not a hundred percent on that. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't think it was a bad decision, you know, or do I think it was overly good? You know what I'm saying? Like, it was great. You know what I'm saying? I think it was just one of those things where the surprises on top of surprises on top of surprises, the shock value, the, 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 the lessons that the person was trying to teach you about life. It's just that, you know what I'm saying? If, if. He puts everything into perspective. If you if you actually watch, because I watched it up, up up until the end. Remember, and I was trying to 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 see what was being flashed on the screen there at the end, you know. And and one of the things what they're talking about power, you know what I'm saying? Does the powerless and all of this other stuff? I don't remember exactly what it said, but it was talking about power and those things. You have to put into perspective of why he, he they wrote it that way why the person wrote it that way i don't know if it's a guy or a girl that's why i'm so confused right i don't know if it's a you know you know what i'm saying so it's the perspective that he was going for at the end of the season it's a perspective is he right is he wrong is Lush right for what he's doing is he wrong for what he's doing is suzaku right for what he's doing is he doing it in the name of love you know what i'm saying is he is he doing it why is he doing it does the powerless deserve to get power you know and to know how to use it should you abuse power it's all of those little things that you that he's trying to 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 um to portray through these characters so you have to look at it from that point of view not as a this this anime was not created or this story was not created for entertainment purpose only it was it's created to have you think as a human being as a person who what would you do if you had that kind of power how would you make decisions you want to change something if you can see throughout the journey with lelouch he went from wanting revenge for his for his mother he doesn't know who killed his mom he killed his half brother he killed um he killed his half brother ending up have to using the gears on his best friend and the girl he was in love with he ended up having to use the gears um on he didn't want to use it on yuffie ended up using it on yuffie um just to find out who killed his mom right it went from revenge to a greater purpose to an even greater purpose right so there's a lot about season one that i really liked so that's why i'm jumping into season two because i want to see how they're going to leave us now how what are they going to do how are they going to bring this um because you know it was left on a cliffhanger we don't know what happened i don't know what happened so i'm hoping that they go back to that scene, you know, of what happened between him and Suzaku pointing guns at each other and Callan being in the middle. You know what I'm saying? So I still want to see what happens with Lelouch 
and Suzaku and Kalen in that moment. We know Yuffie is dead. Um, Cornelia has survived, but the Gias has been used on her. Um, she's the one that actually told Suzaku um, about the Gias. Old girl that was living with um, Ogi. Ogi is his name. Um, she shot him in the stomach. Um, she remembered who she was. I don't, I, I still don't know exactly how she, how her memory was jogged for her to remember who she was, but I'm guessing, I don't know what happened there, but yeah, she remembers. she's like, she remembered that she was a, um, Britannian, right? She remembered that she was a Britannian and was like, why would I ever be with a scum like Ele an Eleven? Uh, 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 yeah, I'm great. Yeah, you're a dumbass. <laughs> um, yeah, so, all right, so let's jump into this, man. Season 2, or R2, as they call it, of Code Geass, man. Hoping for another great season. Let's jump into it. You already know. Hit that like button. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to the channel and make sure you leave a comment and then we're going to come back here for the review. So go hit that link in the description and go watch the video. It's going to be available on the Google Drive. And if you can't watch it on the Google Drive, then, it'll be, then it will be available on BitChute, okay? If, if you guys are having problems with BitChute, please let me know and I will send you a specific link where you can go and watch this video. Okay, if if both of them is giving you problems, I will figure out a way to get you that to get you that video. Okay, you just have to let me know. Just let me know. Okay, that's all you have to do is to leave a comment on this video and tell me I can't access the video and I will figure out a way to get you to get that video and to watch that video. Okay, so thank you guys for watching as always. See you back here for the review. I'm going to go react to this junk. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to another episode. Oh, my God. That episode was so good. Oh, my God. That episode. Those two episodes was so good, man. So good. Um... I wish, guys, I really do wish I could do another episode right now, but it's getting late. I have about a half an hour to do to do a reaction to Evangelion. I did not do one on Thursday, and that's why I have to do one tonight. If it was the fact that I did one last Thursday, I would have skipped it tonight and give you guys a really good super reaction for Kogi Ass tonight. But these two episodes was so fire, bro. It's more than enough to, to, to satisfy your appetite. I mean, you just want to just watch the whole damn thing, but I can't. Um, but these two episodes, man, at first I was super confused, right? I was super confused as to what to till Even I started theorizing that it's an alternate timeline and all this other stuff. Sounded like a jackass, right? But, you know, f from what was going on, and it was, it was well written i don't care what nobody says man other than the fact that the emperor ended up they had for season two they had to introduce something new they had to have keep that shock value going it may seem like an ass bowl with the emperor having a having gias in both his eyes it may seem like an ass bowl but the way how i look at it is 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 basically this um, I'm going to go back to season one and see, okay, why does this guy just go around unopposed? Yes, he's an emperor. What makes him so powerful? That's what I'm, I'm looking at right now. That's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm trying to figure out. What makes this guy so powerful, right? What makes him so powerful that everybody just obeys him? That everybody just goes along with all of this killing and stuff like that. It has to be something. It has to be something. So that's how I'm going to take that as, as for now. I'm pretty sure there has to be an explanation coming down the pike about 
how they attain their gias um what's the relation between cc and these p new people with giases um i think i think what from my perspective what i'm thinking what why others do not like certain things about this series is because I'll, all these people now being introduced um with gias right it might feel like the story wasn't developed enough behind it before it was revealed but if it is a if it is explained like i don't mind people getting power ups in anime i don't mind it i'm all for it but there has to be an explanation it's just like how at the ending of naruto there was a lot of things that a lot of power ups that happened that did not have an explanation just so we just had to watch it enjoy it for the entertainment value and then certain things was explained in like the in, in in the in the data books and stuff like that right like you know how comes naruto was flying how did he get that power how did he end up learning how to use this massive amount of tracker um from go going six path mode right so there's a lot of stuff that happens in anime that's just i just need an explanation i don't care if it comes after i need an explanation um don't just let it be just an asshole right so if that happens where i get an explanation then i won't have a problem okay power-ups are gonna happen in anime if there is power to be attained so it's gonna happen whether it's this person or that person and it's obvious every gias has different powers so that makes it even more interesting like what kind of power does he have does he have the same it looks like he has the same as lelouch because i mean they're family technically because this is is his father right so it would make sense her um it would make sense that they would attain the same type of gias i mean gias right because um in relation to to that you know what i'm saying like just like how in naruto sasuke and itachi because they're brothers they both had the amaterasu right so it's 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 kind of like i'm looking at it from that perspective okay i compare a lot of things to naruto because naruto is my favorite anime okay so it's those things i can understand why some people just they just won't take it and they say it's, you know, it's bad writing. But to me, these were two of the best episodes I've watched so far in the series. I'm not going to lie to you. I enjoy them a lot. You can see it on my face. The surprises, the shock value was there. It, it's just surprise on top of surprise on top of surprise. You know what I'm saying? Like, it. these two episodes were straight fire. Straight fire straight out straight off off the stove it, it was hot you know what i'm saying it was good it was you know um finding out that um how it happened um as i said there has to be an explanation as to how he lost his memory it, trying to get him to remember who he is because obviously he forgot who he is so cc gave him the kiss of remembrance you know and he remembered it it's that connection it's that connection to unlock his memories again because they probably was trying to find out what the hell happened to him why is he why doesn't he remember me why doesn't he remember that person why doesn't he remember that person and it's all because of Suzaku bringing him in front of the emperor finding out the emperor has a gas to use it on him um now he's in the i don't even remember what they call themselves but he's a part of 12 nights of something uh, I don't remember, but that new nightmare is sauce. They, 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 there's no name for it yet, but it's like an upgraded Lancelot. Fast. I don't know if it's disappearing or is it teleporting? I, is it teleporting or is it that speed? Because that's some crazy ass speed if it, if it is. If he's disappearing and appearing, I don't know. I don't know. Even Callan was scared in that moment so and i mean the ch yo bro i want to see the skills of the samurai man you guys know i already said from i was reacting to season one how much i love swords how much i love sword play in any anime i love swords man in anything I i'm watching i love swords i love it i love it i love the sword play just reminds me of ancient times 
when people used to chop people instead of shooting them <laughs> right so it's just a more intimate fight you know what i'm saying sword play it's just more intimate it's just more in your face you know what i'm saying like who's the better one kind of chop off your arm and you still keep going you know what i'm saying like it's just some just a more intimate more deadly um well i don't want to say it's more deadly because i think gunplay is too it's too easy you know what i'm saying in in my opinion gunplay is just too easy like you shoot somebody did that like a sword is just it's just more intimate to me just like how your fists are even more intimate um so it's just crazy how they they started off this season man these two episodes were so good i mean it had me jumping out of my seat bro it had me jumping out of my seat i was jumping i was jumping it was just so crazy the the the, the, the come the comeback back to business the, let's get down to business you know what i'm saying but we still don't know who was in the upgraded lancelot um, still don't know. We, I mean, Dead Hard, he's super happy to have Zero back. Um, the Declaration of the United States of Japan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that was that. that uh, I'm always going to laugh when he says that because it's like, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, so that was pretty dope. Um, him, Lelouch is so, is like, you kind of don't know if you should root for him or you should hate him. You know what I'm saying? Because it's so good to to like somebody like him because you know he's doing um something for the greater good. I don't think the revenge factor is really at the forefront anymore. It's still there, but it's not at the forefront anymore. And I mean, they it did such a good job for turning things around in the, in 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 um in ep in the second episode. Um, you know. And we thought Zero was going to be in trouble again. Um, Kalin knowing, even questioning, like, did, did questioning Lelouch if he used the Gias on her. And he's like, no, you chose to follow me. You chose to do all of that. I never forced you to do anything using the Gias. So, um, in turn, seems like they're kind of trying to develop that relationship somehow. Um, somehow, some way. I don't. I think it should remain a professional relationship. I don't think it should it should develop into anything like lovey, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like it that's not necessary to be written in the story. That's just not necessary. Or maybe it's just because I don't want that. You know what I mean? Like I don't want that. I want it to remain him and Cece. Like that's the relationship that's necessary right now. Let them develop that so he can understand the Gias a lot more. Um so that if he ends up having it in if he ends up having it in both eyes, then you know he'll know how to, to understand it. I think with Cece there. Cause the point is um before cause she she talks about Ma what's his name? Maho? what's his name again the dude that couldn't turn his gears off and he was he could you know read minds and stuff i don't remember. i think it's maho right she said the mistake she made was leaving him right so you know lelouch promised her that he would never you know go that far you know what i'm saying as in to to lose control and stuff like that so I'm glad that she's staying by his side. And that's what he, he needs. You know what I'm saying? He needs her. And she needs him in in a certain way. So I'm, I'm happy about that. So, man, these episodes were good, man. Thank you guys for watching, man. As always, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Tell me what you think of these two episodes. Um, if you were as confused as I am when it began. Um, at the end there, we have... Um, things that are going on man that is just it, it i'm looking forward to these next episodes so next episodes are going to be on thursday i'm gonna give you guys a real real good super reaction on thursday one episode of attack on titan and one episode of evangelion okay so thank you guys for watching as always man um leave a like on this video please please guys interact with these videos so other people can come and watch and enjoy it just like how you guys are enjoying it um tell your friends <laughs> i'm just kidding anyways subscribe if you have not subscribed man may more cool gears to come on the channel thank you guys for watching as always 
It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. And peace.